Hi, I am excited to be back here on YouTube cooking you what I'm kind of calling a pantry quarantine meatloaf. Um, I was looking in my freezer and in my pantry and trying to see, okay, what, what's in here and what can I be creative with? And what I found in my freezer was a pound of frozen ground turkey. And what I found in my pantry that I'd had forever was some apricot jam with brandy. Uh, not sure where that came from, but it ended up in there. And it reminded me of when I was little, little, makes me sound like a kid, but I did start making dinner for my family when I was 11 years old. So somewhere in those teen years, I learned that you could take a turkey breast that still had the skin on it and you could spread apricot jam um, on the outside of the turkey breast and then bake it that way. And it just gave this, I, I love apricot, and it just gave this tangy, um, barbecue-esque sort of flavor to the turkey, and it was just really great. So in my mind, I've always sort of associated apricot and turkey, that flavor combo goes together in my mind. So I saw all these two things, and you know, I'm getting down to my frozen vegetables that are in my freezer. I don't have a lot of fresh food um, here. I haven't been out to the grocery store. Um, so I use, using what I have, um, this is my turkey meatloaf. So we're gonna put the, um, we're gonna put, a, it's a pound of, uh, of ground turkey. And you'll see, I just also put in a tablespoon of ghee. Um, turkey doesn't have a lot of fat and not a lot of flavor, um, one of which I guess makes it healthy, but also, you know, we're on isolation. We're on isolation and, you know, why not, why not treat yourself well to good food while you're by yourself, if you're by yourself, like I am. So I'm putting a tablespoon of ghee in there. I've also got a half a cup of um, chopped onions. And these onions aren't actually chopped. They weren't chopped by me. I, uh, I like to support the local restaurants uh, right now uh, during the quarantine. And so uh, my local, one of my local restaurants is called Gorilla Tacos here in Los Angeles. Um, and they do this, they're calling it an emergency taco kit. So they'll send you uh, cooked chicken, cooked steak, tortillas, salsas, um, chopped onions, and you know other garnishes that would go and you make your own tacos and it's delicious if you're in los angeles you should absolutely hit up gorilla tacos but these were some leftover onions um from my gorilla taco emergency taco kit so i'm using them and they weren't chopped they were mandolin so they're really nicely thinly um thinly sliced then i also uh in my you know not wanting to food waste quarantine attitude. Um, I had made myself some couscous the other night and I couldn't eat it all. I actually made turmeric couscous. So I thought I would use that instead of breadcrumbs. So I'm using a cup of uh, my cooked um, leftover couscous. Um, and then I'm gonna put one egg in here. I didn't have um, fresh garlic, so I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of roasted garlic, and I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of thyme. I, I love the, the herb thyme. I love when it's fresh. Uh, I love it dried, but I just love that it's called thyme because who doesn't want thyme for everything, right? And then the last thing I'm doing, it's about a half a cup a frozen butternut squash that I just um, de-thawed uh, quickly in some boiling water and then I pressed the water out of it. Um, I thought that might be a good flavor with the turkey and the couscous. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go ahead and use, well first before, I'm gonna do one pan this size and I think I'm gonna have leftovers. So since it's just me cooking for one, I'm gonna do a little leftover size pan uh, in that one that I'm gonna freeze. And, um, and then when I feel like I want a meal, I'll have, I'll have more go-to food. Oh, we need salt and pepper. Usually uh, generously seasoning. 
with some salt and pepper. I actually think this is gonna be really great. I'm very excited about it. I really like sort of making stuff up based on flavor profiles. Okay, so now I'm gonna get in there with my raw turkey and not touch anything else. Um, yeah, so I know a lot of people are using this time of thinking, uh, okay, I gotta learn another language and play an instrument and write a book. Um, but I think for me, you know, I'm just trying to keep a good attitude. I know feeling like a sense of no control is really hard for people and they can get really anxious. So I'm just trying to make myself a schedule, stick to a schedule, working out, accomplishing as many work goals as I can, but con you know, connecting with friends um, and just sort of trying to be easy on myself. It's very strange. No rule book for what's happening right now. Okay, this seems uh, pretty well mixed. So I'm gonna fill up my first tin here that in case I didn't say it, I sprayed that with avocado oil. So one thing about, I've been cooking like, uh, I made a big pot of lentils the other day, but it's just me. So I make a big pot of lentils and then I freeze lentils. <laughs> I have more food than I could possibly possibly eat. Okay. Um, all right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover, um, this with my apricot jam. Okay. So I feel really lucky that I had this apricot jam in my pantry. Like I said, I didn't know where it, so I'm going to put like a little scoop there. This is about, I think I'm probably using about, uh, four tablespoons. I wasn't really sure. I can always use more, but I wanted to cover the top. And then I'm hoping that that sugar will just sort of do a nice little brown caramelizing thing and that that apricot flavor is gonna drip, you know, drip on through into the turkey. I think I'm gonna need more. Um, so I'm gonna get a new spoon so that I don't contaminate this. Good. This is a little bit sort of sticky like honey, so you have to kind of be patient pushing it around. Try to show you that there. I want to thank you all. I, I know um, people have continued to keep coming to the to Hatch and Change, um, uh, you know, both for van therapy and for my cooking videos. And uh, Thank you, thank you very much. It's really nice um, to connect and nice to know that it's helpful to people. I think now more than ever, we just need relaxing, positive places to go, right? Um, and just to know that we are all in this together. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Those are gonna go in an oven at 350 degrees and I'm thinking for an hour, but I'm gonna check it at 45. I will let you know. So there it is. It's cooled a little bit, um, but I got the turkey meatloaf out of the oven. I would say that I um, probably had this in at 375, between 350 and 375 for about an hour. Um, you want to check uh, with the meat thermometer to make sure that your ground turkey is at least at 165, that that's the proper temperature. So I took the little one that I told you I was going to freeze and I already took it out. I took a bite of it. I just wanted to see, cause you know, I told you I was sort of making this up along with you. Um, it's really good. Uh, the apricot, um, jam, it has this sort of almost the Chinese, um, Szechuan orange flavored chicken, how that's kind of a sweet protein. Um, I don't know, that happens to be one of my favorite things to order at a Chinese restaurant. So it definitely has that, that. And what that made me think is, I think it needs a little heat to balance uh, the sweet from the apricot. So I have these red chili uh, pepper, um, just tiny little flakes. This is a, I think this is a Korean, Korean spice. Anyways, I'm gonna put a little of those along the top 
but I think if I had thought about it in advance, I probably would have put in about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes in the mix before, uh, before I baked it. So let me slice off a little bit, show you what it looks like. So that's what the inside looks like. Um, it's really good. Uh, let's see. I think, um, I, I mean, it's just really satisfying. It's kind of funny to like say that about your own food, but you can see how it breaks apart. It's holding together. It's a really nice texture. I'm going to be just eating with my hands. I should be using a fork, <laughs> but it's my kitchen and nobody's here because we're all being isolated. So I put deodorant on today. I think that's a good thing. Uh, no, I think it's really good. All right, well, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. And um, if you like this recipe, be sure to uh, hit subscribe and hit like and tell your friends. And I'm hoping to be able to be posting videos here more regularly. Thanks for being part of my Hatching Change community.